How far is Lake Tikapo from Feely, you reckon? Half an hour up the drive. Yeah, about 40 kilometres, 44k. Alright, and what are we doing up here? Gonna, we're by the lake, we're gonna go for a walk soon. Yeah? Not a bad place to take a walk? Oh, dead, and we can hold the glass here, water go into the river, can you see that? Yeah, sure is. How much would you say, how much water down there do you reckon, Jake? Uh, Enough to fill a swimming pool? Maybe two? A hundred. A hundred swimming pools? I think there's probably enough water coming out of here every second to fill a hundred swimming pools. Fair bit of it. These pine trees, Jake, they're called wilding ones because they're simply spread either by the wind or by the birds from all these larger trees. And they grow so quick, they very quickly can spread and cover a whole lot of productive ground, farmland. So the Department of Conservation quite often come through and either spray or they'll chop down all these trees just to keep them under control. You understand? Any other questions about trees, Jackie? No? Do you know what walk we're doing right now? It's called the Cowan's Hill Walk at Lake Tecpo, isn't it? Got a four and a half kilometre loop. Just up out of Tekapo. Sun hasn't come out yet, but it's still pleasant. No wind anyway. That's always a good thing, isn't it, Jake? Yep. Guys, this tree I'm standing next to was planted about one year ago. When it grows, about 20 years, it'll look like that. And they cut it down for timber to make furniture. What type of tree is it, Jake? Do you remember? A pine tree. That's right. Pine tree originally from the United States or America. And now growing here, like Jake said, for harvesting, for timber products, isn't it? Yep, and you can see the old stumps here. Oh, worms have been chewing in there. Oh, hold on, this camera's not pointing in the right place. There we go. All right, continue on our walk then, shall we, Jake? Guys, I'm seeing next an old tree. It's about 46 year old. Old. How do we know? Because we count every every year one more ring adds up. To another year of growth, doesn't it Jake? Yep. So if this tree's 46, how old do you reckon the tree behind you might be? One year old. One to two years old? You're probably right. So you fair to say this is a grandfather tree? Yep. Alright. Should we continue on? Yep. Make Make a path, Jake. Dad, why are they Oh, because I've got big chickens. No, so the story behind this chicken there, didn't Jake, is back in the early 19th century, they had a massive problem with chickens in the Mackenzie country. Oh, sorry. Chickens! Even I'm getting confused. I mean, rabbits. So all the farmers especially on the main boundary fences, would install this chicken netting to keep rabbits from this field out from that field. Especially if one farmer spent more money poisoning, shooting or hunting rabbits, he didn't want his neighbour's rabbits jumping the fence and coming and eating his grass, right? So they applied this chicken netting for miles and miles and miles to keep rabbits out and keep his grass growing. Happy with that answer? Yeah. Alright. Not the best day for sun. Blue sky, a little bit above Tekabo. Pretty good and fairly. Just where I'm standing, it's pretty cloudy, hence the colour. 
of the video, but I'm just gonna do a bit of a pound around. So we've got Lake Tecmo way up there. Two thumb range, you can probably see way up there. Stag saddle to the right in the cloud. If we just pan around a bit, got a little observatory over there. And then if you're in a straight line from here, for about 45 k's, you'd hit fairly. And we're looking uh, kind of southeast at the moment, down through the Mackenzie Basin, Twizel, all under cover, and come back around Lake Tikapo. Just been down the township. It's kind of how I rem remember it as a young fellow with not too many tourists and just locals. You like this spot, Jake? Yeah. Where are we? Lake Tikapo. Lake Tikapo. Where's Lake Tikapo? Here. New Zealand? Yes. Mackenzie Country? Yes. South Island? Yes. Should people visit it? And we're still going to walk soon, we're taking some photos. Next to the lake, it's all filled up because of the rain. It's really cold, but a wee bit... It's a wee bit cold, but sunny too. Okay, we're just walking down the path to get to our car. <sighs> I've got not a long ways to go. Good And the lake is really shiny, reflecting the sun's reflecting on it. Okay, we're gonna carry on walking. Oh, it's walking. Okay, I'll be back. We're on the bridge now. We've passed our car. It's a good view of the lake. It's very, very blue water. Gonna get to the to get to the top of the bridge. The, the other side of the dam. Danger, keep clear. The lake.